Hi chess friends, today we are going to analyze the game where Magnus two extra rooks are not enough against Prakarananda. Prakarananda plays with white, Magnus is black. Prakarananda starts with e4, Magnus plays e6, d4, d5, knight c3, knight f6. This opening is called as French defense classical variation. Bishop g5 pins the knight to queen h6 out of the opening book bishop e7 is the book continuation bishop takes knight queen takes bishop a3 stops bishop b4 c6 knight f3 queen d8 bishop d3 makes way for kingside castle knight d7 castle on the kingside Bishop e7 preparing kingside castle queen d2 b6 rook a d1 bishop b7 Magnus Fiancato is bishop rook f e1 Prananda moves his rook in front of the opponent's king queen c7 now Magnus has the option to castle on both the sides e pawn takes d5 pawn c pawn takes d5 pawn knight e2 bishop d6 targeting the h2 pawn knight g3 blocks the h2 pawn castle on the king side knight h5 rook a e8 bishop b5 pins the knight to rook bishop c6 frees black's knight from the pin and attacks the white's bishop Bishop takes bishop. Queen takes bishop. Rook e3. Rook c8. Targeting the c2 pawn. c3. Moves the c pawn to safety. g6. Attacks a knight. Rook e2. Prananda wants to sacrifice his knight. Let's see what happens if Magnus accepts the sacrifice. g pawn takes knight. Queen takes h6 pawn, rook f e8, if queen g5 check, king f8, king escapes and there is no win for white, or if knight g5, knight f8 and the game is equal, Magnus didn't want to take any chance as this is a rapid game and played king h7 protects the h6 pawn. Now the knight can be taken. Queen c2 pins the g pawn to king. Now the knight on h5 cannot be taken. b5 knight e5 attacks a queen. Knight takes knight. d pawn takes knight. Attacks a bishop. Bishop e7 moves to safety. Rook d4 a5 h4 was played better is knight f6 check bishop takes knight e pawn takes bishop queen d6 rook e3 rook c4 game is equal back to the position h4 gives some advantage for black b4 a pawn takes b4 pawn a pawn takes b4 pawn. The b pawn cannot be taken by rook as bishop will take the rook. And the b pawn cannot be taken by c pawn as queen takes queen, rook takes queen, rook takes rook, black has extra rook and the black is winning. Back to the position. Rook e3. b pawn takes c3 pawn. B pawn takes c3 pawn was played. Better is rook takes c3 pawn. Let's see the continuation. Queen a8, knight f6 check, bishop takes knight, e pawn takes bishop, game is equal. Back to the position. B pawn takes c3 pawn, bishop c5, forks both the rooks. Knight f6 check, king g7, 
h5 the h5 pawn cannot be taken as queen h7 checkmate bishop takes rook h pawn takes g6 pawn bishop takes rook pass played better is f pawn takes g pawn let's see the continuation rook g3 bishop takes f2 pawn check king takes bishop queen e8 to protect the g6 pawn queen cannot be taken as the knight is pinned to king black has rook for knight and as extra pawn black has the advantage back to the position bishop takes rook now the game is equal knight h5 check if king h8 king h8 is a checkmate in three moves Pause the video and find it. Compliments on finding the checkmate. Let's see the checkmate in three moves. G7 check. King G8. Knight F6 check. King takes G7 pawn. Queen H7 checkmate. Back to the position. So Magnus played King G8. Knight F6 check. King G7. Knight H5 check. King G8. Knight F6 check. King G7. Prananda is down by 2 rooks. But the game is drawn by 3 fold repetition. If you like the video, share, subscribe and like. Thank you. Now it's puzzle time. Wait to play and win. Post your solutions in the comment section.